So I'm going to cover a Midnight Summer's Dream and its influence on art. And I'll use this for two paintings. So the first one is called Titanium and Bottom by Henry Fuseli, written in 1790. Elia's painting was created during the Age of Enlightenment and sort of the rise of Romanticism. And basically, he was interested in reconstructing history and developing um, a kind of history that integrated supernatural and fantastical ideas. So this painting was right up his alley. Um, in this painting, you're going to see Titania is making her fairy attendants cater to Bottom, and you'll actually see um, Peas Blossom scratching Bottom's head, you'll see Mustard Seed perched in his hand, and you'll see Cobweb killing the bee. Um, one thing to note is Titania is not idealized nude with a mischievous uh, look on her face, and even the fairy attendants that surround them, they also have this mischievous look. It um, kind of sets a more sinister tone when combined with all the shadow. So if you look on the left lower corner, you'll notice these doll-like creatures, and one of them has a butterfly head, and that one is kind of shushing the audience, kind of with a sinister look. Um, on the bottom right hand, however, you'll see a figure holding a partially formed figure, um, which is actually a changeling or a child that was taken by fairies. So Fuseli decided to take a more provocative and dark approach with realistic depictions of the fairies. And so these fairies kind of mimic old fairy folklore with uh, human-sized fairies and fairies that were uh, viewed as dangerous and the cause of bad omens. And I think he was trying to make this painting look so real that it's almost frightening because these types of fairies are unpredictable, uncontrollable, and they usually have a hidden agenda. However, I think Fuseli used this hyper-realistic narrative in order to share and emphasize Shakespeare's belief that fairies should not be feared and that we should welcome the fantasy that Midnight Summer's Dream has created. So now we're going to look at our second painting. And this painting is called A Midsummer Night's Dream, Titanium Bottom by Edwin Landseer. And this was created between 1848 and 1851. So in this painting, Titania has been given the love potion and she's gazing up at bottom. Similar um, scene as uh, Fuseli's. Um, however, if you'll notice the difference in this one, there's small fairies and in front of bottom is Puck and Puck is depicted with pointy ears. Um, it was actually Landseer who popularized this idea and so in later paintings you'll see fairies depicted with pointy ears as well. So unlike Fuseli, Landseer use Shakespeare's fairies as inspiration. And so these fairies are dainty, playful, and very tiny. Um, another thing to note is that Titania is presented in a more innocent and pure way. And this was mostly done to make uh, this scene more romanticized and more beautiful so that it was more attractive to the audience. And so this is the beauty of A Midnight Summer's Dream and its ability to be interpreted in so many ways. An artist has the liberty to decide how they want to portray certain characters or how they want the setting to look like or even the type of mood that they want to invoke towards the audience. Before I forget, uh, Lewis Carroll actually saw this white rabbit in Landseer's painting and was inspired 
by it and eventually wrote Alice's Adventures in Wonderland in 1865.